Hi, my name is Lydia Vandriel, and I'm one of the four horn players in Quadra, the voice of four horns. I'm also the horn professor at the University of Oregon, and this is my office. I'm going to show you some of the fantastic instruments that I have in my collection. Not the normal French horns that you're used to seeing. This is a horn. This is a horn that I got in Tanzania, and this horn is played by the Maasai people. It's one of their instruments. So it's got a little hole drilled here. This hole is a little bit smaller than a French horn mouthpiece. Um, but I got it, it's a cow horn. I got it in a Maasai market. This is a post horn. If you have a cell phone, you have an emoji on your cell phone that looks a lot like this. In Germany, this is uh, in Germany, these are used on mailboxes to, to indicate that they're post office boxes. So usually they're kind of orangey yellow and they have this little icon on it. This happens to be pitched very similarly to a French horn. It's in the key of F. Here's another fun toy that I have in my office. This is a conch shell, and the end has been shaved off. And brass players play conch shells. Sometimes composers write for us to, to play these in, in classical pieces. And conch shells are used a lot in jazz as well. Basically, you can stick your hand inside the conch and that'll manipulate the pitch a little bit. I also have an Alphorn, but the Alphorn is back in my house because it's too big to fit in my office. When it's all assembled, it can be between 12 and 15 feet long, depending on which attachments I put into it. This instrument is called a Wagner tuba, and the reason it's called a Wagner tuba is that Richard Wagner commissioned the building of this instrument. When he was writing music in the late 19th century, he wanted to have an instrument that was kind of halfway between a horn and a trombone sound. <laughs> or a natural horn. The reason it's called a hand horn is because we use the right hand to change pitches. The reason it's called a natural horn is because we also play just the natural harmonics of the overtone series. So without using my right hand at all, I can play those pitches up to 16 different pitches on any given series of tubes. If I want to play notes that don't fall on those natural harmonics, I have to start using my right hand. So this is the kind of instrument that Mozart or Haydn or even Beethoven in his early years would have been writing for. And then in the early 1800s, the valve was invented. And then horns started to look like this with the valves that we're all familiar with. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed checking out some of the more interesting horns in my collection. I look forward to seeing you at a Quadra event in the future, whether it's in person or virtual.